What's up guys, welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto Online informational video here on my channel. I'm your host Jeff and in today's video we'll be discussing about the possibility of an up and coming story mode expansion DLC that may be coming into Grand Theft Auto very soon. So without further ado, let's go and hop right on in. There has been quite a lot of information leaked recently about a possibility of a story mode DLC coming into Grand Theft Auto very soon. Now there's a tons of facts to back it up as well as a ton of forum posts as well as a lot of reputable leakers claiming that this is true. The only thing that was mentioned officially by Rockstar was a forum post about two years ago on the Rockstar Newswire claiming that they are working on a story mode DLC that should be coming into Grand Theft Auto very soon. Now make sure you take this information with a grain of salt because nothing was confirmed by Rockstar but this is pretty damn close to being a really awesome DLC. Ned Luke, which is the official voice actor that plays Michael inside the game, posted something on his verified Facebook page on January 15th at 120 p.m. EST. It's going to be displayed on screen right now and the caption read, it's gonna be a new year. We gonna do this tour thing. And it shows with inside the picture, it says coming soon to a Kanye Yu and obviously has their names on the bottom as well as the official Grand Theft Auto story mode poster. Now, this leads us to believe that there will be a story mode DLC and they haven't done any tours in the past like this. This is one of the first tours. They only did a tour as soon as the game came out and it was almost like a mini one, but seems like they're trying to build up hype when a new DLC drops. So basically before games come out, a lot of the voice actors, a lot of people that know they take part inside the game, go around, do some tours, try to stir up some hype because this is great. And it's also going to let people meet them, which is two very cool things. Now we do not know what the story mode DLC is going to contain. Other other than that Ned Luke is going to be there and Sean Fantino is going to be there most likely. The reason why Sean Fantino is most likely going to be in there is that he has been posting quite a lot of pictures on Instagram recently showing him in a motion capture suit next to the Rockstar Games voice recording studio alongside some Take-Two interactive employees as well as some Rockstar managers and recording artists. This leads us to believe that Michael and Franklin most likely will be part of this. Now on top of all this fun, MW2, which is one of the most reputable leakers inside the Grand Theft Auto community, put out a thread on the Grand Theft Auto forums saying that these DLCs will be codenamed episodes. He said, quote, one episode will be for Michael and one will be for Trevor. According to what I found, patch 1.13 slash 1.14 updates. I'm not sure about Franklin, but I'm guessing that they're going to be creating a third episode for Franklin. That's why I can I can explain that Fontino keeps on posting pics of him in a mocap suit, which is a motion capture suit that I described earlier. Which does lead me to believe that all three characters are going to be inside this DLC at one point, but it will be spread out into multiple ones, so each DLC will be related to one character. Now this leads us to believe the last point, which is going to be price. Is this going to be free or is it going to be paid? Again, nothing was mentioned yet by Rockstar or by the leakers. So in terms of a paid DLC or a free one, not sure yet, but a lot of leaks suggest that it will be paid just because looking at the Grand Theft Auto history, a lot of the story mode that were implemented into Grand Theft Auto 4 and previous Grand Theft Autos were all paid, which leads us to believe that the story mode DLC inside Grand Theft Auto 5 will be also paid. Now to further prove Fun MW2's point, he posted another thread on the Grand Theft Auto forums stating this. Still checking the coding found in patch 1.13 and 1.13 updates. This coding is related to AGT, one of the two expansions coming with the SP single player DLC according to the coding. The only playable character for the AGT is Trevor. So this is very interesting and it does prove his point before that these episodes or DLCs are going to be for each character which is going to be probably three separate DLCs. So might one might be for Franklin, one might be for Trevor, and one might be for Michael and all three are going to be combined into one cool DLC after you purchase slash download all three of them. So this is pretty cool and I'm really excited for these DLCs. That's going to wrap it up. A whole bunch of leaked stuff has been coming out recently. I'm definitely going to be doing a part two of this video. So if you guys do not want to miss out on that, make sure you click that subscribe button down below as well as drop a like rating on this video if you found it helpful. Again, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video.